Hey, Trevor Matthews, coming to you again with another Two Minutes with Trevor. Today I want to talk about refrigerant blends and Glide. So I got a chart behind me here. I have a single po uh, component refrigerant, like R22, and then a non uh, azeotropic, which is multiple refrigerant blends. So like R22, when you're going through your evaporator, when you're going through your condenser, at a constant pressure, you're going to have constant temperature. So for an example here, it says liquid on this side. This is your bubble point on your enthalpy diagram. On this side would be your dew point, your vapor side. When we go across, there's a constant pressure. Temperatures are the same. But now when we talk about a blend with multiple refrigerants and more and more of the newer refrigerant, low GWP refrigerants are blends, they're gonna have a high glide. And what glide means is that that bubble point right here, temperature is different then the dew point temperature at a constant pressure because the refrigerants are boiling off at different temperatures. And why is this so important? This is so important because when you are setting superheat, you need to make sure you're using the dew point, the dew point, the vapor point. Because if you don't and you use the bubble point, you could flood back that compressor, have no superheat, or you have way too much uh, superheat and cause uh, overheating. So it's very important to use the dew point when you're checking superheat because of this. As you can see, different refrigerants have different glide. And some of the newer refrigerants have up to eight degrees of glide. So for an example, if you're checking superheat on a medium temp system for eight degrees superheat and you use uh, the bubble point, you may think you have eight degrees superheat, but you may have zero degrees superheat. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear if you knew this. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.